Hello everyone, it's Pastor Anthony here at the Daily Excellence of Gate, bringing you guys some breaking news. Israel is carrying out uh, precise strikes on military targets in Iran. Uh, the IDF says strikes four weeks after Iran fired 200 ballistic missiles at Israel are, are a response to the regime's attacks. U.S. backs Israeli self-defense, no change to home front guidelines. This is from the Times of Israel. Uh, that we're getting this information from. Uh, it says about 36 minutes ago, the White House reportedly given a heads up shortly before Israel began striking Iran. 20 minutes ago, the Prime Minister's office released photos of him meeting with defense brass in bunker as Israel uh, strikes Iran. 18 minutes ago, the United States Security Council, Israeli strikes on Iran, an exercise of self-defense. And about two minutes ago, the IDF says, Havali commanding strikes on Israel alongside Air Force Chief. All right. Uh, so that's some of the stuff that's going on there. Uh, right now, it does appear that these strikes are on just military uh, bases, military facilities in Iran. It does not appear at this time that oil fields or nuke sites are being uh, targeted. And according to some of the mainstream outlets, it does appear that those will not be taking place. As of now, it is a fluid situation. So anything uh, is possible at this time. It does say that the IDF releases an image of Chief of Staff Lieutenant General uh, Herzi commanding the strikes on Iran from the Israeli Air Force Command Center with the Chief of the IDF, Major General uh, Tumor Bar. Uh, the United States Security Council, Israeli strikes on uh, on Iran, an exercise of self-defense. Israeli strikes on military targets in Iran are an exercise of self-defense um, following Tehran's ballistic missile attacks earlier this month, the White House says. National Security Council spokesman Sean Save it says the target strikes on military targets are an exercise of self-defense in response to Iran's ballistic missile attack against Israel on October 1st. Uh, Prime Minister's office releases a photo of him meeting the defense brass in a bunker as Israel strikes Iran. So there's a photo of that going on there. White House uh, reportedly given a heads up just shortly before Iran or before Israel begins to strike Iran. U.S. officials were reportedly angry uh, that Israel did not give them advance warning last month when its airstrikes eliminated Hezbollah's chief Hassan. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that in Beirut. Uh, so, and it does appear that as of right now, the IDF spokesman says that there is no current changes to the home front guidelines as Israel strikes Iran. In a brief video statement, the IDF spokesman, Rear Admin Daniel. Uh, Hagar says that there are no changes to instructions for civilians at this time as the strikes are being carried out in Iran. The IDF is fully prepared to attack and defend or, and defense. Uh, we are following the developments of Iran and its proxies in the region. He says we are conducting a continuous assessment of the situation in the home front. And at this stage, there, are, there is no change in the instructions of the home front command. You must continue to be alert and vigilant and obey the guidelines of the Home Front Command, uh, Hagar says. He says further update will be provided. So uh, IDF announces Israel is carrying out precise strikes on military targets in Iran. The IDF confirms launching strikes in Iran. In a statement, the IDF says it is carrying out precise strikes on uh, Iranian military targets in response to months of continuous attacks from the regime regime in Iran against the state of Israel. The regime in Iran and its proxies in the region have been recklessly attacking Israel since October 7th on seven fronts, including direct attacks from Iranian soil, the military says. Like every sovereign country in the world, the state of Israel has the right and duty to respond. The statement continues. The IDF's says its defense and offensive capabilities are fully mobilized and that it will do, um, well, hold on, that it will, uh, let's see, fully mobilized and that it will do whatever is necessary to defend the state of Israel and the people of Israel. Uh, Israeli sources confirm IDF has launched a retaliatory strike on Iran. 
A strike comes following Iran's October 1st ballistic missile attack, where we saw like 200 ballistic missiles fall uh, over Iran. So uh, a lot going on tonight. It looks like we got a couple more updates. It just took place. Uh, it looks like eight min, uh, about 31 seconds ago, um, Israeli officials to CB, CBS or C, yeah, CB, uh, sorry, uh, Israeli officials to NBC strikes not targeting Iran's nuclear facilities or oil fields, which we kind of already knew that uh, they're not going to be doing that. So uh, here's the article real quick. The update uh, says Israeli officials to NBC strikes not targeting Iran's nuclear facilities or oil fields. Uh, Israel is not striking Iranian oil or Iranian nuclear facilities or oil fields and is not and is focusing on military targets. Uh, NBC cites an unnamed Israeli official as saying we are targeting things that might have threatened us in the past or could do in the future. The official is quoting saying the Biden administration has been urging Israel not to strike such targets while backing Israel's right to uh, respond to Iran's October 1st missile attack. So um, anyway, it's a fluid situation. Things are happening on the ground in Israel as they are now striking back at Iran. So just pray for the peace of Jerusalem, pray for the peace of Israel, and let's pray that everything uh, goes well, that cooler heads prevail. Um, it is speculated that Iran will probably um, strike Israel again, will probably retaliate to this airstrike, as they have already mentioned, that if Israel tried to do anything, they would respond in kind. So we'll see what happens as we go forward with this. Uh, but this is breaking news that Israel has begun its retaliatory strikes in Iran. We'll try to keep you guys up to date with what's going on. Thank you guys for watching. God bless you. Bye, everyone.